Dr. Jen, an open-minded and slippery place for females to explore sexuality in a comprehensive manner and start thinking about female sexuality outside the box. Now, if you've seen sessions 70, 72, and 80, you know that I met some amazing folks when I was in Las Vegas for the International Lingerie Show last fall. And this is the final interview from that field trip with Dean Elliott of Sliquid Lubricants. I'm a huge fan of his products and the stand that he takes for female sexual pleasure and health. Hey, we're in Las Vegas at the Rio for the International Lingerie Conference, and I am here with Dean. So, Dean, could you please tell us who you are and what you do? Well, you just said it. I'm Dean. I'm Dean from Sliquid, and we are a uh, women-friendly uh, lotions and potions company. We do lubes, uh, washes, shave formulas, um, yeah, that pretty much covers it right there. And so how long have you been around? Well, we've been around since March of 2002, but we've been on shelves only since January of 2004. And how's it going? It's going very well. Thanks for asking. <laughs> okay, so you specifically on your website say that you provide products that are formulated by sensitive women for sensible women. Can you explain that? Well, um, my wife, who was not my wife at the time, uh, and I were experimenting with uh, other lubricants on the market, and um, she had some sensitivities to those lubricants. Mm -hmm. Not so much, uh, not so much uh, uh, me on my end, because you know we can pretty much as men we can use anything. But she was having problems, and um, uh, we weren't sure what the problem was, so we had to kind of break it down. Uh, and we realized that glycerin started to uh, to kind of appear in newsletters and um, articles, um, uh, and not in such a great light. So we thought, okay, well, let's let's start with finding a glycerin-free alternative. And at that point, there were only one or two on the market. Uh, so we did that. We formulated a glycerin-free version of a well-known personal lubricant, and it actually worked wonders. Then we found out that a few of her friends were also having sensitivities. Now, if out of 100 of her friends, or 50, I don't know what the number was, that three had a problem, well, that's a pretty good amount. And can you elaborate a little bit just for women watching, because they might not know what kind of symptoms to look for that when they might be having a reaction to glycerin? Yeah. Well, the number one would be urinary tract infections. And, well, I, I don't want to say that's number one. I'd say it's probably half urinary tract infections uh, due to the shift in the pH balance. Or uh, yeast infections, bacterial infections. Uh, so it's one of the two. And, um, you know, sometimes they'll be very mild and sometimes they'll be much more severe. So it can really kind of range depending on the woman. There are many women, majority of women, who don't have problems with glycerin at all. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Now, I read somewhere they said it was only women that were prone to yeast infections in the first place that would have problems. What do you think about that? Uh, you know, who's to say who's prone to yeast infections? I mean, the, you know, we take the guesswork out by saying you, whether you know you're prone or not, we're a pretty good, uh, you know, alternative. And we're, we like to think of ourselves as the health-conscious alternative, you know. Give people uh, a chance to use a product with, that's glycerin-free, whether or not they would have problems or symptoms from using glycerin later on anyway. So, awesome. Uh, excellent, excellent. Okay, and my final question <laughs> If you could be invisible for a day, what would you do? Well... Or who would you do? <laughs> right. You see, this could get me in a lot of trouble, <laughs> darling, if you're watching. Um, I would say, I mean, selfishly, I probably would, um, I don't know, I'd have to, if I only had one day, it's like travel, would travel time, would that be in there, or is it just kind of like I'd have to be wherever I'm at? Yeah, I don't think you can do sort of... Advance, do I get the advance notice that I'm invisible, or I just wake up invisible? I guess you could have it either way, but I don't think you can sort of, you know, span time and distance or something magically. That's not part of it. Yeah, so I'd have to find, like, the, the my, probably the closest uh, outlet to me would be, like, the Dallas Cowboys cheerleaders or something like that. And just, uh, no, I'm kidding. Um, 
like, wow, that's so deep and sensitive. Uh, yeah, right. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, let's see. If I was invisible and I and I had it for a day, what what? I got there's so much I could do, and would want to do. I probably would have to really organize my day to be able to get a few of those things done. And I, this is a cop out. This is such yeah, a cop out. I know, it is. I know. I know. I would do just about anything. Okay. All right, we'll leave it at that. But seriously, thank you so much. I mean, you know, we carry Zip Zap Toys, we carry a lot of your products, and we just wholeheartedly support, you know, what you do and the research you've done and the stand that you take around women's health and women-centered product, women products, and we think it's fabulous. So really good stuff. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you. Take care. Sexual fun fact number 320, true or false? Silicone lubricants are very new to the market as a personal lubricant for sexual encounters. False, and this was actually a surprise to me as well. Pure silicone lubricant has actually been used in the majority of condoms for 35 years. This is why they're so slippery when you touch them in a way that's very different than water-based lubricants. The Den Recommend. Now we generally talk about personal lubricants for their use in sexual activity specifically, but there's many non-sexual uses for liquid lubricants. And I really like the idea of being creative and having multiple uses for things. So I've got four non-sexual uses for lube. The first one, massage. Specifically, the Sliquid Silver Silicone is a phenomenal massage product because it's so silky smooth and a little goes a long way. Second, the water-based or the silicone lube can be used when running or exercising between your thighs or on your nipples to prevent chafing. And if you're a runner and either of these things have ever happened, you know how important it is to have a good product there. Third, third, if you've got a sweet tooth and you don't have any desserts around the house after dinner, pour a little of the swirl cherry vanilla flavored lube on your hand and lick it off. And fourth, hair gel. If you're in a bind, you need to tame some flyaway hair, use a little of your personal lubricant to calm things down. What's that word? Teapotting. Okay, it's two words instead of one. But teapotting, what's that term mean? It's when you take a teapot with warm water in it and a man places his balls into the open top of the teapot. His partner then creates a jacuzzi type effect for the testicles by blowing down the spout of the teapot. It's then accompanied by a hand job, of course. Important note, there's no boiling water or tea actually used in teapotting. Who thinks this stuff up? Mike. And I just lubed up this whole studio, so watch out. Visit me at drjensden.com or zipzaptoys.com or email me at jennifer at drjensden.com. And if you're a woman or a couple who wants to take your passion and communication to the next level, send me an email so we can create a coaching relationship for your happiness and sensual growth. And if you want to participate in my online survey for women and men about sexual experiences, visit my website and look for the sexual survey. So keep away from those nasty little yeast bacteria and be kind to yourself. Oh, Elizabeth, it's her 30th birthday this week. Elizabeth, you're Elizabeth? Yeah. You're. I guess not. <laughs> <laughs> you're Elizabeth? I guess I do. I'm the first I've heard about it. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Okay. I forget when people that I'm friends with know other people that I'm friends with. <laughs>